Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 204, Hypersensitivity Disorders. Name all the type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. The type 1 hypersensitivity reaction includes anaphylaxis due to bee stings and some food or drug allergies such as peanut allergy, as well as allergic or atopic disorders such as rhinitis, hay fever, eczema, hives, and asthma. One thing to note about type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is that they happen immediately after exposure to the antigen. Name all the diseases that can occur due to type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Type 2 hypersensitivity reaction can lead to autoimmune hemolytic anemia or AIHA. It can lead to pernicious anemia due to the immune system attacking the parietal cells. Also idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, erythroblastosis fatalis, acute hemolytic transfusion reaction, rheumatic fever, good pasture syndrome, bullous pemphigoid, and pemphigus vulgaris are all examples of conditions that can occur due to type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. One thing to note here about type 2 hypersensitivity reaction is that the disease tend to be specific to a tissue or site where the antigen is found. So the attack happens at a local area and the disease also occurs at that same specific area. Name some diseases that can occur due to type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. Type 3 hypersensitivity reaction can lead to lupus, polyarthritis nodosa, post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, serum sickness, and arthritis reaction. And a classic example of arthritis reaction is swelling and inflammation that is seen following a tetanus vaccine. One additional thing to remember about type 3 hypersensitivity reaction is that this reaction occurs due to formation of the immune complexes as we mentioned earlier. And these immune complexes can enter the wall of the blood vessels. So that's why type 3 hypersensitivity reaction is associated with vasculitis and systemic manifestations. Give some examples of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. Examples of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction include multiple sclerosis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, graft versus host disease, PPD test for tuberculosis, which requires a few days of waiting because it's a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction, which is the delayed response it's waiting for. So this requires a few days of waiting before the test can be read. And lastly, the type 4 hypersensitivity reaction also includes contact dermatitis due to poison ivy and nickel allergy. A few additional notes about type 4 hypersensitivity is first to remember that poison IV is a type 4 hypersensitivity and not a type 1 because other plant related conditions such as hay fever are type 1 hypersensitivity. So remember, poison IV is in fact type 4 hypersensitivity. Additional facts about type 4 hypersensitivity is that this is a delayed response and it does not involve antibodies. But all the other hypersensitivity reactions such as type 1, type 2, and type 3 are all antibody mediated. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.